Horace gets a skirt, but it's not what you think. Moving on from my First World War theme for my Mamod steam tram named Horace, you can see I made a canopy from effectively what are old bean cans there. But what I intend to do for the next phase is these areas here, I'm going to refer to them as skirts, uh, I'm going to do the same wriggly tin treatment and see how that turns out. So in the carefully worked out plan that I'm making up as I go along, I made the original canopy from the food cans, bean cans, sweet corn, pineapple, etc. Uh, it isn't pretty and it's not meant to be pretty. Uh, that's why I did the, the separate panels from uh, to indicate offcuts and scrap. Now I could quite simply just fold this round and, and uh, have it there, but I want to make it look a little bit more heath than that so you know, it'll be panels in various directions let's see how it turns out another point working with the materials initially i started to use the square and making sure everything was was, was plumb as far as possible but then i started to think well no it this is meant to be scrap and off cuts so i then started just cut randomly and then fit the pieces together another point with the the sino glue as well is be advised it's very easy to incorporate yourself into the design because if you push these two together there's limited surface area uh, the glue tends to seep out and then suddenly you find yourself attached to it other than that it's going well Well, that's the first one done. Uh, quite easy and enjoyable. Uh, the material is very, very easily cut with scissors and marked out. Uh, some of the lessons learned. Um, this edge here, I'm really quite pleased with. Uh, the trick here is to fold it and then fold it over something, which I'll use the edge of my square there, something a bit thinner, uh, and then fold it again and then trim it at the bottom so you get a good fit there. The first one I did was here. Uh, which I'm less satisfied with, but I may or may not replace that. Uh, this metal stretches like nobody's business. So you can see there, there's a bit of a smile. So I will probably put a window box there or something equally bonkers, and it will just slip off like so. And now the paint's finally dried, we can see uh, the finished product. I don't think it looks too bad. I am... Um made a couple of mods as well. I put a hole in the roof so the exhaust pipe, chuffer pipe sticks out there. And at the back, you know, you get all the thing with the smiles on. And I will probably do something like a window box. Uh, it looks like a Wrigley tin steam shed, which is what I was aiming for. Yeah. Test run tomorrow. And here comes Horace doing his thing with all his mods. Towing my latest bit of scratch built rolling stock with some storage. <laughs> 